Hello and welcome to a new episode of Bahrain Today. Join us as we cover the latest topics and trends of our beloved kingdom with our exceptional guests. For any inquiries or questions, don't forget to contact us through our accounts shown below. Stay tuned, we'll be right back for exciting segments. Today in the studio we have Anna from Russia. Anna is a professional musician and cello player. She plays both the classic and electric cello. Anna wanted to share the Christmas spirit with us here on Bahrain Today and we are happy to have her. Hello and welcome to Bahrain Today. Hello. It's our honor to have you. That was so beautiful and sensational. I just felt like I was in a movie or something. <laughs> so what was that piece? This piece called uh, Carol of the Bells. It's original uh, play one um, violinist mm -hmm. from Sweden, mm -hmm. uh, Lindsay Stirling. Amazing. So mm. can you tell us more about your background and when did you start, you know, into music? When did you get into music? Yes, um, I uh, honestly, this is uh, was dream of my mom. She wanted to be a musician and uh, uh, she told my father go to mu music school. Yes. And uh, uh, there was some uh, exam. Mm -hmm. Uh, where you should uh, sing song and clapping the hands. Okay. So it was very funny because I was not good singer when I was child. <laughs> and the uh, uh, music teacher, he asked us, yes, please uh, sing song. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very bad. My father, he told me uh, they will not get me. They will not accept you. Yes, yes, in the school. <laughs> Uh, but I think uh, for many uh, kids, it's a uh, famous instrument, it's piano and violin. Yes. And uh, nobody wants to play cello because Why? cello is so big it's and heavy, heavy yes, yes, and not so popular. Mm -hmm. And I was always dreaming about uh, play piano. Mm -hmm. 
uh, but they accept me <laughs> in okay. this field. Amazing. Yes, yes. And uh, after I back to home, I'm crying. I don't want to play <laughs> cello. It's not my instrument. So they picked yes. the cello for you. Yes, my okay. parents. And yeah. uh, my mom, she told me, why are you upset? Anyway, you will play piano because mm -hmm. in uh, Russia, in music school, we uh, should play two instruments. Like you have main uh, main instrument, mm -hmm. the cello. And plus piano. Amazing. Yes. So, so the cello I, chose you. Yeah, we can yes. say. <laughs> yes, like this. But you're doing amazing, mm, I mean. Yeah. But I need to ask as well, it's you know, it's a very heavy instrument like you mentioned. And I'm mm. guessing that, you know, training and being in a professional when it comes to playing the cello is also a long journey. Yes. So who inspired you to continue and not give up? Mm, yes, I have many challenges uh, with cello in my life and uh, many times I want to give up. Yes, but my mom and my teacher from music college, they believe me and in hard time when I don't want, you know, because I always feel in my hometown like, um, how to say, like I'm different person because, how to say, all kids, they go to work, they playing and when I took uh, cello with me, I should uh, every time take care. And um, how to say, I also when I was a teenager, I was ashamed to take this cello because really? in my city, yes, like only only me playing this instrument. Wow. And some guys, they kidding, oh, you, what is this? <laughs> this, this is accordion or what is this, okay. like contrabass? So I always feel not, not much, uh, how to say, self-confidence. Yeah. Yes, so my mom and my teacher, yes, they have to say, always uh, they support me. and supported yes. you to continue. And, um, because I'm from small city, and when I went to um, in mu when I uh, went to music university, and it was more big city, and mm. there I saw many students who play uh, cello also, okay. <laughs> and it was very so high you found profession. Your yes, and, and, and you I, found I, I feel <laughs> okay. This is my <laughs> this is where I belong now. <laughs> yes, yes. And everyone is actually supporting the other, mm. you know, to uh, get more advanced in this uh, field. Yes. It's um, amazing to see a woman, you know, um, uh, practicing mm. something different, something you would normally not see. Uh, I want to know how do you deal with, you know, uh, how do you choose your gigs? Where do you play normally? You know, now I have, um, I, uh, I do uh, very active social uh, networks, mm -hmm. so I uh, try to uh, make my Instagram look nice and okay. uh, I do sometimes post uh, with advertising. Amazing, <laughs> yes, so you're going yes. for social media. Social media, yes, and most of my clients from social media and mm -hmm. most of from Instagram. And do you play, you know, in, in some restaurants or in some events? Yes. Where do you normally yes. play? Yes, I play uh, some, it can be private, uh, uh, like how to say, private events, like okay. weddings, for example. Yes, okay, or corporate and, events. Uh, and big publish uh, events, for example, last week I play in Golf Convention uh, Hotel, there is, was um, one famous uh, comedian mm -hmm. and I play uh, before he starts. Yes. So it was for me also a big challenge, it's the uh, first time I play in a big uh, ballroom with, yeah. uh, yes, like it was more than 1,000 people. Okay, that's amazing. Yes. And how was the response? How do you feel uh, people look yes. at the cello and uh, you as a musician? Yes, uh, no, my feelings, I, of course, I was nervous, but I pretend like I'm not. I'm okay. <laughs> yes, like I'm okay. That's the key. You need yes. to look confident yes. to give that vibe. Yes. yes. And, but when I start to play, I always, uh, I'm nervous always before, but when I start to play, I feel like uh, people uh, very kind to me. Like you can feel this energy, like they um, very kind to you, and they. I try to focus on people who enjoying. So I play for them like this. Yes. I'm focus on them, and I play, and I. And also, I was before dreaming about some big performance. Yeah. So I think, well, it's like my my <laughs> my time. So I should <laughs> yeah. enjoying. It's Absolutely. like you. It's mixed feelings, like you're enjoying and you're stressful. But <laughs> of course, the key like to any you know success is having fun mm -hmm. while you're doing it. You need to enjoy what you do, mm -hmm. just like us. You know, enjoying presenting. You will mm -hmm. be enjoying what yes. you're doing. Um, how do you find the scene here in Bahrain when it comes to musicians? Like the support you get from the public, and have you thought about like including some Arabic touches to your music? Yes, I'm. I'm. I thought about it. But but um, because I have classical education, so difficult for me. Mm -hmm. But and also I uh, have Arabian uh, friends; they play instruments. Um, and 
I knew from them it's like also like cello or violin they have different um, string tone okay. even yes so some some uh, um, technical things different yes. but I think for me easier better collaboration with yes. uh, with some somebody yes. and they will <laughs> make this yes, absolutely Arabic we've had great musicians on Bahrain today yes, and yes. I must say Bahrain is, is you know has a rich uh, mm. When it comes to having talents, has a rich talent uh, uh, foundation, and I think you'd do amazing, you know, uh, just being with one mm. of these musicians and come up with something new, maybe for the yeah, future. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I want to ask as well, uh, what are your plans for the future? Where are we going to see you? Mm, no, uh, for for next, uh, you mean in, in general? <laughs> in the future, what do you want to do yes. with your music? What do, what do you dream? Honestly, what do you my dream, I want to perform uh, performance uh, to have performance in Formula One mm. <laughs> in big. Amazing. <laughs> big. Okay. Yes, I I'm dreaming. Uh, I perform in classical cello, but also I have electric cello. So my dream, I want to have my own show and uh, do some program. And I know uh, in Bahrain many musicians. Um, very also have high skills, so yes. I want to collaborate with them. Like I know one uh, band with drums. Yes, yes. So you can do it. I'll, yes. I'll be seeing you in one of the Formula One <laughs> yes. shows, maybe. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Yes. So thank you so much for being here with us. And do you have any last words before we conclude the segment? Yes, I want to say, and uh, this is magical time now, magic time in Bahrain, uh, and I'm. Very appreciate. I came today in uh, this day uh, in studio, and uh, I want to say uh, Bahrain is very uh, friendly country for foreigners, and also we can see how they respect all cultures because uh, all Bahrain now all hotels have Christmas decoration yes. and some cafe, so it's very nice and beautiful. See thank how you so country much. Yes, beautiful. absolutely. Um, thank you so much for being here and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Viewers, that was an amazing segment. Don't go away, we'll be right back for more. Lettuce Runners, the first Bahraini female running group organized by sport lovers Dana Zubari and Maryam Turkey to encourage women from all around Bahrain in taking that initial step in staying healthy, positive and energetic. Promoting healthy lifestyle and exercise, Let Us Run encourages women from all different age groups and occupations in joining the active run with their weekly schedule and exploring the kingdom. Who would have thought that maintaining a healthy lifestyle would be so much fun and satisfying? So how about running with these lettuce runners? The first female running group in Bahrain that encourages you to maintain a healthy habit with support of Captains Dana Zubari and Maryam Turki. Hello and welcome to Bahrain today. Hello, thank you for How having us. How are you guys us. doing? We're good. We're, We're good. great. Uh, first of all, I love the shirts. They're thank beautiful. You, the idea you. behind it. But Thanks. before going to the brand and all, I want to know all the details about the group. When did it start and why did you decide to start Let's Run? Okay, it started about a year and a half ago. Uh, Dana and I were, were athletes. We used to run together. That's how we, we met actually. Mm -hmm. And we were out cycling one night with the cycling bees. And uh, when we finished, we were having tea. And then we said, why don't we start a running group? Okay. Um, since a lot of girls were asking us, uh, we want to come running. That's how it started. Would you like to add on that? The name came from my slogan, which is, I'm so skinny, I only eat lettuce. <laughs> and then when I was thinking of the name with Mimi, my sister suggested, why don't you call it Let Us Run? Yeah. Which is a pun and a play on the words. Yeah, that's really Let nice. Let us lettuce. And I can see that through your social media. Everyone is all about lettuce. It's when it all about <laughs> being skinny and eating lettuce. <laughs> exactly. So how did you start with the group? Like in the beginning, um, how many members do, do you have membership uh, membership plans? How so, do you do that? So the same night we came up with the idea, we went home, we were brainstorming the name. When Donna called me, she's like, I got the perfect name. It's called the lettuce run. I'm like, I love it. I'll start an Instagram account, of okay. course. <laughs> we started an Instagram account and believe it or not, overnight we had 400 followers that's yeah. good within a week we reached almost what was it 800 yeah yeah something like our numbers were ridiculous. just going up yeah okay. people were really excited the girls were like we want to come and then guys started to 
DM us and be like, can we also join? We're like, nope, sorry. That's an all girls That's running. An all it's girls an all girls running. running. I mean, you can see that uh, now Bahrain has changed. A lot of girls do go running, yes. cycling outside. Absolutely. And I think that uh, having such groups or initiatives, it's an essential It's essential to you know encourage others who are a bit shy. They've never tried it. Um, tell me about the experience when you had how? you know girls you know trying this for the first time. How, how was it? The thing is, how I felt was uh, the reason why we have an all women's group because we're led by women for women. Mm -hmm. And I feel that it encourages women to see us as working moms, Absolutely. you know, not make any excuses for our health and wellness and dedicate that one allocated time period for your health, for your well-being, mental well-being, as well as physical well-being. And that's what I absolutely love about Let Us Run. And I think that's why the women now will not miss it for the world. Tuesdays and Saturdays are blocked for Let Us Run. Amazing. And yeah. how long do you run? Um, we run every Tuesday three kilometers. Mm -hmm. Now we try to separate um, different segments um, depending on the level of fitness of the girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mentioned earlier about being intimidated yes. and that was the fear of women running in a mixed group. They'd yes. be like, oh, we can't run with men. They're too I'm not fast. Comfortable. I'm not yeah. comfortable. Exactly. I don't want to be left behind. So mm -hmm. we said, we're going to take care of that. We have um, four groups. The first group runs 3K continuously, mm -hmm. usually led by Dana. Okay. And the <laughs> second group, which is usually led by me, we do two minutes run and then one minute walk. And the third group would be like, uh, depending on who shows up, it's either 30, 30 seconds, seconds run or one minute run okay. and then 30 seconds rest or one minute rest, depends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fourth group is for actually just walking. Okay. Um, a lot of females are like, oh, we can't run. We're like, you know what? Start walking mm -hmm. yeah. and then you can gradually like a baby pick up crawl and into yes. it, pick you know, into pick us. up and exactly. Start, yeah. And we Sundays? Tuesdays you at have 6 p.m. Yeah. So it's Tuesdays at, at 6 p.m.? Yes and Saturdays, Saturdays at 7 a.m. Both are 3K, or it's just the Both Tuesday? Both are 3K. Okay, and where are the locations normally? Do you, do you change it? Do you just keep it, you know, different? We change. Because sometimes change when you go up. to the same route, you just get bored. We yeah. change it up. We okay. try to explore Bahrain as much as possible. Maryam and I are yeah. always looking for new locations. So if you are a business with a nice running area, please DM us because we're always looking for mm -hmm. something new mm -hmm. to go too. And we want to accommodate different people from different locations. Yes. So True. we try to run in Rafah to get all people from Rafah can join us okay. or in Manama or in like Jufay. Do you do SAR? We do SAR. Yes. I'm in. We ran we in did, SAR we, we yesterday. Did, we did Nakhil yeah. yesterday, <laughs> Nakhil Center. Okay. But we tend to, on Tuesdays, try to stay central. So we do tend to stay within the Sif area. Yes. So it's closer to everyone. Just because people finish work and they just head straight to let us uh -huh. run. And the people that are a bit farther out, they can out. Like, yes, know, they absolutely. Yeah. We, so as you can Yeah, I know. We go to Bahrain for it. Water I, saw, I see the pictures yeah. all the time. They're beautiful all pictures. I, I do follow you guys. So I see uh, Dana's story in there. Thank you. <laughs> you know, she's just exploring Bahrain and I love it that you're connecting, you know, your heritage and your culture yes. to what you like most as well. Exactly. So tell us about yesterday's, uh, or let's say the Christmas run. How was that? <laughs> it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I saw the fun. outfits. They were nice. We got a lot of supporters. We do. On the street, like people were honking, they're like, go, go, So go. you do different, uh, you know, you keep it fun. You do different uh, events. You have Halloween, you have Christmas. So yeah. you, you try to mix it up where people, we you just try, have fun. Uh, let's say we look at the calendar and we say, fine, what do we have in January? What do we have in Feb? <laughs> what do we have in March? Yes. We have Valentine's Day. We have our birthdays, yes. National yes. Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day with no fathers. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we'll celebrate the fathers. It's fine. Yeah. We don't need to come. But what yeah. we try to do is we try to incorporate a lot of um, public services as well for example we have signed up with one percent the app uh, and we do do beach cleanups so on CSR Saturdays maybe, yes. at uh, the uh, Medina Salman mm -hmm. yeah so after we're done running we have our little picnic we bring plastic bags we pick up trash all along the you right. know along the beach right and that's and what I love about Let Us plastic. Run. Mm -hmm. Yes. We, we are, we are going plastic free. Complete environmental advocates. Yes. I've seen that straw. So even at, <laughs> even, no, forget the straw, but even with our picnics or, you know, anything that we bring in, we're bringing multiple use plastic. So yeah. I am actually bringing, and she is bringing plates, forks, knives that we're not disposing 
yes. into our environment and we're not just throwing and it I out. I think we've spread it around our group. Now yes. they know they're not allowed. Yes. They always come with their reusables as Everybody well. Everybody brings their own mug. Everybody yeah. brings their own reusable water I bottle. I love it. I love it. And it's just, it's all about, you know, social giving back to yeah, yes. social responsibility absolutely yeah. so as professional runners um if i can Ooh. call you i would i would yes. <laughs> all right i would not I'm say not professional ready for that one. <laughs> passionate runners passionate runners but professional <laughs> as passionate stretch. fine as passionate runners how do you maintain you know that balanced lifestyle to be you know uh, to give the maximum uh, 100% when it comes to you know, doing uh, running or cycling, be it any kind of sport, and maintaining, you know, balanced lifestyle, being a mom, working mom, or all of that. Well, yeah, sure. Um, time management is very important. And honestly, I think allocating that time for yourself makes you a better mom, mm -hmm. makes you work better at work, makes you, you know, like you need that time for yourself. Oh, I encourage Absolutely. every mother, even if you're not a mother, every female, every male as well, Anyone to take is. that one hour or two hours a day to just um, dedicate it to yourself. It to yourself. Yes. Exactly, Absolutely. it's very important. Absolutely, I completely agree with you. As for myself, exercise is a must in my life. I have to every day dedicate an hour of my time to exercising it's something for my health and my mental well-being mm -hmm. as well as i when my daughter sees me exercising with example. let us run with cycling bees my daughter is now very active yes i bring her sometimes when we do have mm. let us run on a carless track she is cycling right next to me and it encourages her to have an active lifestyle mm. and not to be a sedentary child that yes, just wants absolutely. to watch television all yes. day. She's very active. She wants yeah, to be. Yeah, I can see that. We all love Layla. Thank She's you. <laughs> yes, Layla is very popular. Yes, she is. She's very talented as well. And I see where and she they, gets it from. She and is, they ask she us, is. by the way, our daughters, because they're friends as well, yes. they keep asking us, Mommy, when can we come run with Let I was going to ask you, yeah. actually, are you planning to introduce a mommy uh, daughter kind of run? Yes, it's in our, in our schedule. We were thinking about doing a mommy daughter's run. We do do a mommy. We are thinking about it. But also, when we do go to Medina Salman or when we do end up in Jafer, mm -hmm. which are yeah. carless tracks, <laughs> I always tell them, bring your children. She brings her daughters sometimes. I bring my daughter sometimes. Yes. And there are other moms that do bring their children with and them. And strollers, the, oh, yeah. Either stroller or a bicycle. Obviously, the children can't keep up with us unless they're teenagers. Absolutely. And if the mother is, uh, like, she's new to running, then Donna would do the Donna. running with a stroller. It's true. It's true. <laughs> you offer that service. So I do offer she does. that service. <laughs> and uh, usually the mom is like, OK, I'm. I can't, I can't push. balance, yeah. So I bring the stroller because I have a running stroller. So I put the kid in it and I just let my daughter cycle next to the stroller. And She's just, like multitasking. I love, it. I love how you're like all you know, in well. with the group. You want to help them do this because, uh, you know, because I uh, my daughter is two years old it's and uh, I used to do the, to, to do some kind of sports. But then after delivery, it's kind of hard to maintain hard. that balanced life. You feel guilty when you leave your child. Yes. And that was uh, one so of the whenever I ask things. about any activities, I ask, is there a chance to bring her with yes. me, you know, and working kind of two jobs jobs is also hectic you don't get to see them as much so having this opportunity to bring your kids with you is something beautiful and I'll definitely be trying it honestly please bring, yes. bring please. your daughter next What's time name? next Tuesday Sema Sema please Sema. bring Sema yes next yeah. Tuesday you bring Sema yeah. I'll put her in the stroller and I'll push her you, <laughs> you don't even need to you, <laughs> so you don't nice. need to do All anything right. I'll do the pushing you just do the running right next Tuesday it is then <laughs> done I'm loving this segment but I need to wrap it up so do you, do you have any message or anything that you'd like to say before we wrap up the segment sure Donna um, I just want to encourage all the ladies just to you know take that time and allocate it to your health I know there's always something that's more important than your health your child, your husband, your your work, but I'm telling you, your health is, is more important than is your health. So much more important than anything in the world because if you don't have your health, you, you have provide. nothing. Absolutely. You can't you can't take care of your family. You you won't be in the form and shape to be even spending time with them. You're always going to be irritated. I notice that when you're not active, mm. then you're always irritated at things that happens in the house. So take that time, 30 minutes, go out for a walk. A mini jog 
and your life will change. Amazing. Yeah. But, you know, I said I'm going to wrap up the segment, but I do have one last question. Okay. <laughs> um, how do people, you know, uh, uh, reach out to join the run? Our Instagram account. Okay. Please follow us. Okay. Let us, L E L T U C E, dot okay. run. Okay. Let us run. <laughs> Let us run. Let us run. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Viewers, don't forget to connect with Let Us Run and book for your Tuesday run. Stay tuned, we'll be right back for more. They say leave a little glitter wherever you go and that is exactly what our next guest is doing. Hello Ms. Grace Ayoub and welcome and the beautiful model Rana Osama. Hello and welcome to Bahrain today. Hi, how are how you? Are you? I'm good. How is everything? All fine. All Great. Good. I can't start this segment because yani, I can't wait to start it because um, it's amazing to see such talents here in Bahrain and you know, creative ideas. Can Thank you tell you. us in the beginning how did you start your business? Um, actually, I saw the idea and I really was impressed with the, the looks and everything about sparkles and glitters. Mm -hmm. So I brought the materials mm -hmm. and I started to practice on myself okay. and on my neighbors and friends. Okay. Okay. And to see also how they perceive the idea. They like it. They, they don't. Okay. You know? So you were testing on family and yes, friends. Yes. Yes, okay. exactly. And when I found that it's, it's a good idea and they all like it. Mm -hmm. and it's something new and different mm -hmm. so um, I, I started to do it you started doing yes. it but wh why did you decide to call it sparkling grace you know it was my husband's idea okay <laughs> we were just looking for a name and we're just guessing what we are going to uh, to name it uh, I don't know he was he wanted to uh, to have the grace my name in the mm -hmm. business he was telling me he was like Okay, it's your business. Just put your name in the put name of the name. business. Yes. yes, absolutely. So it's beautiful when you link, you know, uh, your passion with your name. It's at the end of the day, it just stands out to what you believe in. You right. know what I mean? Right. But you know what you're doing, you know, having this kind of art is something different. I've never seen it before. Uh, I've seen people trying it on themselves at mm -hmm. home, but mm -hmm. no one pursuing it as a business. Yes. So how did you think that, you know, taking this for the next step is a great idea? You know, um, now I'm starting to expand mm -hmm. this business and I'm trying to find a um, good uh, team to share with me this business. Yes, okay? yes. Because uh, so we can share the locations, we can share, we can uh, be at... Because we have a lot of events happening yes, in Bahrain. Yes, exactly. And sometimes you might miss on one event because you're covering the other. Yes, uh, exactly. We were just talking about this off air actually, mm -hmm. and you thought that it's time to expand the team. Yes. But you definitely okay. need to teach them, uh, you know, the skills yes, for it. Yes, and, and this is the most it. important thing I should do first. You know, they should be 100% uh, mm -hmm. um, concentrated yes, and focused exactly. to make this and successful. They should be a bit fast. Yes, absolutely. And, quick while doing and this. what kind of glue and material do you use? Is it safe for kids, sensitive skin? Yes. You know, it's super safe for kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, I use like, you know, the Vaseline material, yes. something like Vaseline material. Mm -hmm. It's super safe for them. Mm -hmm. And like, I use different kinds of uh, glitter. Yes. Something we call the chunky glitters. Okay. This is what I'm applying now. Uh, can I? Can you see that? Yes. Can this you show is me? the chunky oh, glitters. Oh, that's really beautiful. Yes. Maybe we're gonna show that to our viewers. Yeah, that's really nice. It's called the chunky. Yes, chunky glitter. glitter. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I use those like uh, little gems and little diamonds just to. So decorate. this is a you know a Christmas inspired uh, look. Let's yes. say. Beautiful, <laughs> and you know you participate. I'm sure in a lot of uh, events and festivals. Can you tell us about the recent ones that you've participated in and the next one? Okay, now I'm running an event with the Jumeirah Hotel, mm -hmm. uh, the Winter Wonderland. Oh, when yes. is that? Uh, it started already mm -hmm. uh, uh, the first of 
December. Okay, so it's every night? Yes, it's every oh, night. Okay. Uh, starting from 4 p.m. until uh, 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Right. And what time? Uh, 4 p.m. until? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Yes. So you're going to be there every night? Yes. So if I come on Friday, I'll see you yeah, there? Yeah, sure. And you do, okay. do apply it on kids as well, right? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. And what are you doing next? Uh, you know, which event are you covering next? What do you have planned? I have like for the New Year event. Mm -hmm. The New Year event, uh, I'm using different kind of... I. I won't use the, this kind of glitters. Mm -hmm. I will use the neon colors, or what do we call it? The blue light uh, face painting. Mm -hmm. It will only just like light up with the um, uh, blue light uh, lights, they okay. call it, yes. With like that's nice for New Year's. Yes. It's, uh, it has a it's different really nice. twist, yeah. Yes, and that's, something that's like a glow in the dark kind of. Yes, glow oh, in the dark. Okay, exactly. amazing. And is it easy to remove the material from the face? It's very easy to wipe it up. Just mm -hmm. only use wipe. Mm -hmm. uh, the wipes and it will all uh, gone. Okay, and what are your plans, you know, for the future when it comes to a sparkling grace? You know, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about having uh, a big team, mm -hmm. uh, stations all over the events, uh, all over the pl the in Bahrain, and. Uh, you know, I was no, just who thinking knows, maybe running events especially for glitters and Why especially not? for yes, this. Absolutely. Yes, because I uh, already saw this idea out, uh, it's already existing in Europe and America, mm -hmm. and um, they are uh, running like events for music festivals and like this, and they are just going to the extreme mm -hmm. uh, with costumes and looks and accessories. Yes. You yes. know, it's something. Uh, different definitely so why not to have uh, this kind of event well here? i was i was going to ask you as well are you are you planning to host any classes to teach let's say moms how to apply this for the kids or mm. you know even teenagers or even why young not? girls yeah why something not? Very, yeah, sure. uh, maybe not? a session or a class you know, for especially kids? the teenagers girls they're they just love obsessed these kinds. with the yes, colors absolutely. and sparkles can i see what you've done uh, for us this is the final look mm. yes that's beautiful can we show that to the viewers Ah, uh, I want that. <laughs> That's so nice. It's so festive. Yes, it is. That's, I love it. Thank you so much Thank you for so being much. here with us on Bahrain Thank today. You. Thank I you love for what you me. did. And uh, we'll hope, uh, inshallah, to see you in the coming event inshallah. or Thank in the you. show. Maybe next time you can apply it on me. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Viewers, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And that is all for this evening. We thank all the guests who are with us today and we will see you next time in Bahrain Today. If you'd like to be with us on the show or you have suggestions or questions for us, then contact us on our accounts shown on the screen. And we wish everyone who's celebrating Christmas happy holidays. Goodbye, Bahrain.